What's going on, everybody's here, and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. So today, uh, we have an anniversary special thing going on. Super exciting stuff. We've got a um, we've got a, a super secret anniversary bunker with an item in it, and uh, you you know we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go try to find it, see if we can find it, see if we can figure out what's inside, and uh, all the secrets and stores. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you want to check out Planet Crafter for yourself, make sure you use the link down below and uh yeah oh my gosh super exciting stuff so let me see my inventory is good let me go ahead and grab some food and some water here so we're good oh actually we don't even need water let's go ahead and grab, eat that food we'll grab another food okay so they posted a picture hmm they posted a picture of kind of like of the entrance now the entrance is a it's it's all deserty so i don't know if that would be pre-greenery or post-greenery um, but it looks also rocky, so I actually have a uh, I have an idea of where I think it might be. Um, let's actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's pop over to the waterfall area, maybe. I think it's gonna be a little bit closer if we go over there. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe this thing over here because, well. We're gonna go look by where the uh, the meteor crater used to be. We're gonna look there first. And then if I can't find it there, then I'll just go out and try to find it myself somewhere else. Okay, so I'm almost positive, yes. Yeah, so there's a thing right there. Um, that is a, uh, that's a super secret underground base. But for some reason I was thinking it might be like kind of up in this area somewhere. It might also, you know what? I don't actually, hmm. They already have one over here, so maybe there's not one over here. Okay, so I didn't really see it over there. So now we're kind of over in the, uh, we're overlooking the, uh, like the, the sulfur area. We're in that area, so maybe it's up in here somewhere. Let me give you an idea of where we're at. So like there's the sulfur area and we're kind of like up above that, so... Uh, this doesn't look quite right either, though. Yeah, I don't think this is it either. Let's go ahead. Let's head down. And let's go look in this area right down in here. Okay, this area might be promising. See if we can find a ladder. It, it looks like there's some balloons. Also, this place is only available for the next two weeks. So um, if you're interested and you want to get it, make sure you get it while you can. <laughs> all right. So I, I've limited it down a little bit here. Not not really at all. I was looking at the, <laughs> the picture that they posted along with it. They kind of like it shows the entrance, right? And I was like, OK, what can we take from this? So it looks rocky, but it's definitely facing this planet over here. It's definitely facing this planet right here because you can see like the um i would say that's like an ice cap kind of thing so it's got it's facing that way i almost feel like gosh i like i almost don't i don't even know i think it's i you know i almost think it's closer to my base i think it might be in the um the hillside area that goes up to the like the the, the space station the crash space station area? I'm not sure. Um, like, I almost feel like that's where it's at. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like it's in this area somewhere. Because, like, it's almost like we're facing this the planet like this. But it almost seems like we're too close to it. Like, this ridge right here. Hmm. It was right here. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Wait a second. They must have. Okay, so the field of view might be a little bit different because this rock is not within the field of view. We found it. <gasps> we found the entrance. It was hiding behind this rock. I knew it because I was like, oh, this planet. Oh my gosh. It's right here. It's right here. We found it. It's right here. Okay. So place a comment down below. Let me know. What do you think is going to be in here? We got the festive balloons. I mean, you know how they get here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. We're going to go in to this area. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's party balloons everywhere. 
There's balloons everywhere. There's there's delicious space foods. There's like space food candies individually wrapped. There's oxygen and waters. There's um a little rocket ship there. There's more space candies. More balloons. Wait, can we deconstruct these balloons? No. Okay. <gasps> Wait. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What? Hold on a second. <gasps> Wheat, cocoa, and... No. Can I deconstruct that? No. Wait, hold on. Is that a new... Oh, my gosh. Uh... Hold on a second. Is that a new is it, do, there's not a new craftable item is there? Is there is there a cooking station? No, there's no cooking station. This is a cooking station. And we can craft birthday cake, cookies, croissants, flour so we can make chocolate, we can make flour, and then a croissant, and then in order to make a cookie you need flour and chocolate and the birthday cake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um yeah, this is super exciting. Oh, <gasps> there was a, oh my gosh, there was a microchip. There was a microchip. You know what that means? Does that mean that we can now make, oh, we could, we could farm our own food, like real food, like croissants and cookies and birthday cakes. Instead of eating beans, <laughs> we don't have to eat beans anymore. Well, honey beans, because <laughs> we're mixing honey and green beans. I never thought that would taste very good anyways. Might we actually have a real food source now? This is really exciting because if this is a limited time event, that's the only place you're probably going to be able to get wheat and chocolate or cocoa. <gasps> this is so exciting. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. So the first thing we got to do, we got to run over here to the blueprints. Decode. No more blueprints to decode for now. Darn it. Okay. So we can't actually make that food thing that's that's interesting because like it gave us a microchip so i i thought for sure well hold on a second maybe they added could they have added just something to this area right here like maybe i just don't have uh a far enough thing unlocked yet maybe that maybe there's a cookery no okay so it looks like we're gonna have to make what we're gonna have to make and that's okay all right this is so exciting i'm so excited for this okay so let's go ahead and let's do this um let's set up so basically what we need is we need a lot of honey and cocoa because we're not gonna be able to get any other can we get more wheat and more cocoa I don't know. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, let's set up some farms here. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to do something that I probably should have done a long time ago. I'm going to get rid of half these farms in here. Just because we just, I just don't need them. And with the automation now, like we just really don't need them. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory out here. I'm going to keep the um, everything but the, oh, hello. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and dump those in there. Let's dump those in. And I want to keep make sure I keep the, uh, the wheat and the cocoa. Oh, I'm so excited for this. All right, so what do we need in order to get more of our food grower tier twos? Okay, fertilizer, super alloy, and water bottle. I don't know that I actually have any fertilizer. Yes, I do. One. So we only have we only have a couple. I'm gonna go ahead and build. Um, we'll go ahead and build six of them. I don't know that we're gonna be able to get any more stuff from them or not though. So let's just get those. Let's grab some super alloy. And was it a water bottle? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just get these going. So let's do, um, oh man, how do we do this? Let's just do, uh, one, two and three. We'll just kind of have these spread out like this. Nice big open spaces, you know? And we'll just kind of have these across from each other. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the cocoa seed and the wheat, and then 
wonder if that's on a row i wonder if that's on a uh, i wonder if the bots can actually harvest those i don't know because i don't think they can harvest veggies well actually let's just go take a peek see what it says drones cannot collect algae or vegetables and won't work if power's out so i would say that those aren't going to collect that so we're gonna have to be diligent and collect those ourselves i am so excited about this i am so excited about this all right so let's go actually i want to run back real quick and grab hold on let's go ahead and eat that um i want to run back and look at the recipes a little bit because i i thought one of them required three I mean, I guess they were wheat. It wasn't wheat seeds, was it? So I don't think there's any way for us to automate this. You know what? I might just try. Well, let's go. I'm going to go look at the recipes again. Okay, so let's see. So chocolate is three cocoa. Flour is six wheat. Croissant. Okay, so, okay. All right. Got it, got it. Can I deconstruct? I really want this. <laughs> I want it so bad. Okay, um... Should I deconstruct this? What if there's a... Is there any super secret secrets? Uh, hold on. Let's go and take those. Got all this stuff. Super... We got all this. Making sure that there's nothing that I missed here. Okay. I don't think I missed anything. All right. So I guess we're going to be waiting for growth. <laughs> Cause I, I don't think there's any way for me to replicate to get more seeds. Oh, look at our little cocoa and our little wheat. Oh, it's growing so fast. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, containers over here just so I can throw these in there for now. I'm going to try to set the bots on. I don't think it's going to work because it basically says like it won't work, but you know what? We're going to try. And then actually I need to get some honey stocked up too. Did I spell cocoa right? I don't even know if I spelled it right. Okay, so if I do um, demand of honey, is honey even a demandable item? It is. So demand honey. Um, I don't think we can demand wheat though. So yeah, we can't demand that. And the, you know what? We probably can't even demand, can't demand cocoa either. <laughs> Unless maybe I have to get it first. In my inventory? No, I probably I probably can't because they probably didn't, you know, it's a special kind of thing. They probably made it so that way uh, you'd have to hand pick it and stuff like that. So, okay, cool. 60% growth, 60% growth. Ah, uh, there's no, there's no like tier three, right? That's only food grower tier two. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. What, uh, what storm do we have going on right now? Just a regular one? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wait and see what we can see what we can see here. I might only be able to get one of these at a time, which oh man, I'm gonna have to stand here. Cause like you can bet that I want to make one of each of those foods. Like for sure. Alright, we got our first harvest here. Oh. Okay, so let's start growing again. Uh we did not get another seed, which I didn't think we would. Um, so there's the seed in there. Okay, so basically we gotta just have to hang out and wait for these to get done which is no big issue because i mean these these are actually growing much faster than the um, the regular things uh these are growth speed of 1.1 these are 0.6 <laughs> so yeah i can't complain i guess i don't really need these extra uh these extra planters i was kind of hoping there was gonna be a way to find more so i gotta have more going but you know what I can't get greedy. I can't get greedy. It's cool that we have them nonetheless. All right, so I'm back, <laughs> back at the crafty table again. Um, so what we need for the birthday cake, we need three chocolate, three flour, three honey. Each chocolate takes six cocoa. Each flour takes six wheat. So in order for us to make that, we need, what is that? Six, 12, 18. We need 18 chocolate, 18 flour, and three honey to make a birthday cake that's gonna take a while i've got three <laughs> i've got three of each so far oh that's a pulsar one mm, yep we're gonna go ahead and grab that but yeah i have um, i have a total of, of three of each of those right now 
uh, while they grow 1.1, they're growing much faster than, uh, than the other things. It's still not like fast because <laughs> there's only, you only get one seed, but that's okay. That's all right. It's supposed to be special. It is special. We're super happy. We love it. We love the special, speciality of it. Um, okay. I'm trying to find more full star cords here. Is that, oh, uh, maybe, okay. Would be kind of cool if you like mine the main rock and get like, you know, like two more or something like that, like two or three, and then you could get the ones that all like fell off too. Uh, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and head back. <laughs> it's going to be a while before we can make that stuff, so. I think what we're going to do is uh, we're probably just going to go ahead and continue, like, you know, playing the game normally instead of waiting. Because I was just waiting for that. And it's <laughs> waiting takes forever. All right. Pulsar Quartz, you can go in there. And guess what? Slurp. They're all gone. Okay. So now that that's all done, uh, let's see. Warning. Food level low. That's fine. Uh, delicious. Delicious. All right. So let's see what our... What's the... How's everything looking here? Holy... Okay. Pressure and oxygen are good. We could probably use some more heat. Wow. Uh, yeah, we could probably use some more heat <laughs> and biomass. <laughs> we always need biomass. Um, what are we looking at as far as the aquarium? Because that's like my next big thing. Forty-two. Oh, we're not actually, we're not actually that far off here. And then butterfly farm tier two, 950. Okay, so we need to increase the insects by a decent amount. So that way we can get butterfly farm tier two. And then that might also increase our biomass numbers. So let's see, butterfly insects, the highest insect number is the butterfly farms i believe with the golden butterflies now i'm not you know what it's been a while let's go see if we can get some more golden butterflies um we if if you never even if you never even knew where golden butterflies were well guess what stay tuned because you're about to find out uh, now i've already taken them from this area but there's a chance that they respawn because every time there's an update sometimes the chests get refilled so let's pop over here we're gonna go over to this desert area over here um now if this is your if this is your first time coming over here you're not gonna be able to go in here right away because i think you have to access some doors and stuff and like some soup super secret squirrel stuff all right so we're going in betwixt the well hold on this way we're going in between these rocks here now, like I said, um, there is a doorway here that you do have to unlock. Uh, it's right here somewhere. You have to like place a thing and then like a door will open up. Maybe it's that little door right there. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I can't use my jetpack anymore. Darn it. I forgot about that. But let's see if maybe the golden butterflies respawn. Because if I could get some more, that would be super handy. Plus, this whole area is super cool. I absolutely love this area. I think they did such a good job with this area. Um, it's kind of like, it's it's kind of unfortunate that it's not a bigger part of the game than it is, you know? And it's like so hidden back here. It's kind of a bummer. <laughs> uh, I think it was, I think we just go straight up in here, right? Yeah, we went up in here. And we went through here. And this is where the golden butterflies were. Okay, so there's the golden butterflies. Now, okay, so I think if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure there's two butterfly farms here. And that is actually how we got the golden butterflies. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's how we got them. Okay, so those are those are no longer here. Darn, I, you know what? We had to check. Or maybe they were in a chest. I don't know. Will you come with me, guys? Can you make more golden butterflies? That would be that'd be a phenomenal. All right, so no golden larva. Um, next thing I'm actually kind of curious about. I have two rocket engines. I think we're making rocket engines, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, how many rockets do we actually launch here? So we've got 10 seeders, we've got seven asteroids, eight plants. Interesting. Oh, look at them all like hovering around now. That's kind of cool. That's very neato. I guess I never actually paid attention to that before. Very cool indeed. So, uh, yeah, like I said, the insects, I think, are our biggest drawback right now. And I think the, um, I'm thinking the, the butterfly farms are actually 600 with a pink larva in it. Which we know where to get those versus 900 or 390 with bees in it. It's also doing plants though. Are you doing plants as well? No, this one's not doing plants. So this is just insects. But we could get some more of the, um, we could get some more of those guys. What do we actually need to craft those? So tier two fertilizer, zeolite and bioplastic nugget. Hmm. It's the first tier two that we might not have. Oh, we do. But you know what? Let's throw those up real quick. So we got four of those. Let's grab four zeolite and four bio nugs. And then let's go and uh, put up four more of these. We'll go grab some of those uh, pink butterflies. And we'll get those up. That'll help a little bit. So let's go ahead and head to the waterfall area. If you don't know where the pink butterflies are, well, guess what? Haha, <laughs> we're going to go find those now too. Man, what a wonderful episode this is for finding all kinds of useful stuff. Uh, so we're going to go straight underground right over here by this rock. And in we go. All right, so we're gonna look for pink, bright pink worms. Now the goal with these things is you just basically start walking around slowly, giving them time to spawn in and then turning around real fast and looking. <laughs> uh, no, as you walk around, they will, uh, they'll start spawning in. And they're like a bright neon pink, so they're they're hard to miss. I say that, and I don't even see. I don't even see a single worm. Where the heck are the larvae? So, not gonna lie, I don't see a single larva anywhere. Uh, this is not good. <gasps> okay, I reloaded. <laughs> There's one. Okay, we saw one at the beginning. I I did a, I just did a relog because I didn't see anything popping up. Ah, here's okay. So you see now we're getting regular. Um, now we're getting regular larva spawns. Yeah, I must have just had the, uh, must have just been hanging out in the game too long. Oh, hey, look at that. There's another one. See, these are what we're after. So we're just going to find these bright pink ones uh, because these give us an 800% multiplier, which is super great. It's, I think it's the best multiplier you can get unless you get the gold ones, which gold ones are, uh, they're rare. <laughs> and the only place I've ever found them is that one place. And maybe you have a chance to get them from the engineering but i'm not 100 sure because we did get golden fish from the engineering so i mean there is the possibility all right i'm having i'm having no luck with the worms again uh let's see if we can get some spawn in over here trying to like go away from the area that i was in before something has definitely changed with the worm spawns though because like, it seems like they spawn for a little bit but then like seems like they almost stop spawning after a little bit so there's one so that one spawned in yeah that's like the only one oh there's one right there but i don't see like it oh here's one okay perfect four that's all i needed 
Uh, I'll take you. And let's get out of here. <laughs> Gotta remember how to get out of here now. All right, so I'm going to actually go ahead. I'm going to build some of these butterfly farms out here. So that way they're not right next to the base causing a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> laggy goodness. Uh, let's see. Butterfly farm. I'm going to put you there. And yeah, we'll just throw them all over here. Why not? Why not? We'll have some beautiful pink butterflies over here. They're going to be so happy to be by the waterfall. Oh, they're going to have all the plants and fish and stuff to... I don't know what butterflies need with fish, but they might need something. They might want fish friends. And then let's grab one more. We'll put it over here. And voila. All done. Okay, so these are all making another plus 600. So we just did 2,400. Did we do 2,400? Just added 2,400 more to our insects. So now we should have... They should have increased a little bit. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Before. Was it 96.37 or was it less? Was it, well, if we just added what, 1200, so that would have been 1200 less. I mean, so you know, maybe, I don't know. Overall though, biomass still is suffering. <laughs> still suffering, but that's okay. Cause we'll get there eventually, but that's actually gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things, I am going to try and grab a whole bunch of these between uh, episodes here. And get these stockpiled because we need we need a lot of them i want to make one of everything to have it all in storage you know as like a, a memento so i'm going to be hanging on to uh to those trying to get those going so yeah but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things and we'll be back for some more so make sure you're subscribed and uh have that bell icon hit so that way you'll be notified of future videos but yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you later bye everybody